to start, God bless you, Global Christian Fan, with the flashbulb moment, but I'll do this for this purpose. When you read John chapter 22, chapter 21, verse 1, Jesus told Peter, If I will, that he tarry till I come. If I will, that he tarry till I come. When you go over into Revelation chapter 20, verse 11, Jesus talked about his second coming. When you get to Revelation chapter 20, verse 11, you see that John saw the second coming of the Lord. He saw it. If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to you? You just follow me. And Jesus' will came to pass over in Revelation 21, uh, 2011, because when you get over there and read it, look, uh, I'm just going to do this for this purpose. You may say, well, I don't never see you reaching for the Bible, you know. <laughs> Children, the Bible is here. Okay, it's here. Head, heart, mind, spirit, body, soul. I feast on it. All right? When you read the 20th chapter and verse 11, this is what you read. I saw a great white throne in him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Remember Jesus told Peter, if I will that he tarry till I come. That's him. Him that sat on it, from whose face earth and the heaven fled away. That is. All right. Understand that now? I hope you do understand that and see that. Flash bulb moment. All right? John saw what Jesus said he would do. My second coming. Bless the name of the Lord. My God, my God. When you look across the sky and you see the sunsets and you see the beauty of the sun across the sky, my God, just peeking out, just making sure that I see it. Look at it, just look at it, just look at it. Incredible. Praise the Lord. When you began to see these things, John saw the second coming of Jesus, as he said, I will that he tarry till I come. And he did. He's, he, it's there in scripture. All right. John 21, 22. Revelation chapter 20, verse 11. Flashbulb moment. Here's another flashbulb moment. Matthew 24, 35. Revelation chapter 21 and 1. All right, another flashbulb moment. God gives you these flashbulb moments for you to understand who he is so that you can understand. I can go home. I can read these things to myself, by myself, and they're not going to change. The truth don't change. God's word do not change. All right? Let's look back and what God is Showing us, I get shame going back. John saw the great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the heaven and earth fled away. Remember, Jesus told the apostle Peter, "If I will, bless the truth of the Savior and His will, which has come to pass, as He had promised John, that He tarry till I come." This is what John is presently witnessing. John is witnessing the second coming of the Lord. Uh, think about that. As he himself said. And that was found no place for them. Old things are passed away. Behold, I make all things new. Taste, smell, 
hearing, sight. It's never abolished. Death is, but these are not. Light and glory is forever. Let me give you eight world customs. Eight world customs. And I'll do that by going over into Genesis, the eight world customs. We know about the eight wonders of the world. Oh, the eight wonders of the world. Oh, we just know them. We've given you those eight wonders of the world on many occasions. We're not going to do that now again. But the eight customs of the world, you need to know. You'll find them in eight. Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. In other words, anyone coming into the world, whether they be coming from a fetus, embryo, or coming from a spacecraft, or an alien, they are going to encounter these eight customs of the world. First one, Genesis 8.22, seed time, one, custom. Two, harvest time. Three, cold. Four, heat. Five, summer. Six, winter. Seven, day. Eight, and night. Understand that. These are customs that the world are going to carry with it. Because God himself said, while the earth remain, these customs shall be there. All right? Look at them for yourself. Understand them for yourself. And see what God is showing us. And so much knowledge that God wants to show us. For instance, a great day of truth of God's happiness. We know the circumstances around in the hour when Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, possessor of heaven and earth that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and had revealed them unto babes. Keep that in mind. We'll come back here. God bless you. Next time, global Christian friends, God bless you, American government.